Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video, new video on floor planner and in this video we are going to see how to use the camera, how you can set the camera and how you can move in your space so when you move in the 3D space you need to manage the camera. If you like this video, just subscribe to this YouTube channel, continue to follow me and first link on the description, the complete course floor planner is available. So if you need a nice structure, nice tutorial step by step to learn floor planner, everything will be on the first link on the description. You will have the models and the session of the course. So let's start with the camera in floor planner. The first thing that I'm going to do, I created this uh, house here and I added different type of furnitures. And now I, will, I, will, I would like to work with the camera in my 3D view. So the first things to do is to click on 3D just here. And you have two type of view. You have this type of view and you have also this type of view. So the first, it is a general view and the second, it is a walk stroke view. If I just click on my general view, I can drag and move on this direction and you can change the position and enter also a camera eight in centimeter. You can also edit the field view depending of what you want. So just be careful because sometimes you will have something bad, maybe like this. And in this case, you just need to update the camera. You just need to reset the camera. And to reset and recenter everything, you can just click here. So after to, after to do this work, so this is the first type of view that you can have. So just a view like this. If you go left click on your 3D space, you can also change the position of the camera and you can have different type of view. Don't forget that if, for example, you want to see different options, you can click here and you have show doors, cutaways, walls, show ceilings, show shadows. And at any moment, you can remove one of these depending of what you want. So the second option is the uh, walk through. You can click here and automatically you enter inside your uh, room or inside your house. And you can turn with left click, left click, you can turn the view. And if you want to walk inside the, inside the room, you just need to use your arrow keys on the keyboards. And with my arrow keys, I can walk. So for example, I can walk on this corner. When I arrive on this corner, I can go left click and I can turn my view to have a general view of my living room, just like this. And with left click, you can turn around. You can also use this element and you can drag and move on this direction. For example, here I have the ceiling, but if I don't want to see the ceiling, I can go on the options and I can remove show ceilings just like this. And I can just have something open and I will see the sky. So most of the time we can keep show ceiling, but sometimes you can just open. You can also set the camera directly from these panels and you can change the field of view just like this. And this is a camera aid. The best things to do is to use the position of the eyes. So maybe you can increase a little bit, uh, like something around 160, 170 centimeter, depending of what you want. If I want to go in one of my, um, one of my bedrooms, I can first use my arrow keys and move like this and I can enter inside one of my bedrooms and then left click and I can turn around. You can also change the position of the light just using this element. So as you can see, it's extremely convenient. You have a great tools. It is not extremely uh, difficult. You can just use your arrow keys to walk. And then with the left click, you can turn the view of the camera and you can also set the camera just here. So this is the two options. Let's recenter the view. So this is how you can uh, use the camera in a floor planner. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. First link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you want to learn everything in floor, floor planner, step by step in a structured way. At the end of the course also, we will create a complete a 3D modeling of a house with this type of example, step by step. 
and you will see the description of the model and the session in the first link on the description. And for our next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.